Okay, so I'm headed to the gym right now, and I'm gonna be trying something new. For the past six months or so, I've been doing a chest and try, back and by, shoulders and then legs. So that's four days, and then I'll take a rest day. So that's a five day kind of full circle everything. The problem with that then is I can only get about halfway through that split again before the next week starts. So this way by doing a, a what I'm switching to now, push, pull, leg. So that way I can instead hit the muscle groups more often because then I can do push, pull, leg, rest. So that's four days, push, pull, leg, rest. And then I can go back and do push, pull, leg again and that's one seven day cycle, one, one week. That way I can get a little bit more um, frequency in the lifts. Maybe um, take, I'm gonna have to take down the volume on my like chest and try and shoulders just a little bit but I think it's ultimately gonna pay off. So it's just something that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a solid shot for probably at least four weeks, see how I'm liking it, and then go from there. Because I do realize that is a lot to have in one week as far as like, that's like a six day week. If I go push pull leg, then I do a rest, then push pull leg, that's six days out of the seven that I'm working out. However, I've been finding that I've been working out five or six times a week consistently anyway. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna work well. Just kind of something to, new to try. And uh, ultimately, I think it's gonna lead to some gains. Before I go in, I just wanted to say what I'm trying today. I've been starting with an incline press and then moving to like flat dumbbell and then doing some tricep movements after um, doing some flies. Uh, I'm starting it a little bit different, uh, trying something new. It's gonna be a flat bench, an incline dumbbell, and then I'm gonna move to an overhead press, like a military standing press. Then from there, I'm gonna do some flies, and then I'm gonna go to a lateral raise, some tricep pushdowns, and then overhead tricep extensions with the, the, or the rope on the cable. So if you have anything, um, if anyone's watching this that has any suggestions, just let me know. I'd like to try something new because I've been doing some of the same things. And I do have new things, but just like if you have something that you like, just um, get in contact with me or let me know. And that would be awesome because, you know, it's always good to just try something new. So thank you. Appreciate that. And I will see you in the gym. So I warmed up with some chest flies and actually the camera fell. So... Uh, you can see it falling on the ground, so I actually missed the rest of that. Um, from there, I moved on to a flat barbell bench um, and did five sets of six reps a piece um, as best I could. From there, I moved on to an inclined dumbbell bench, just focusing on keeping my shoulder blades retracted and um, moving the weight with my chest, because um, on these, I feel like if you're not careful, you can use your shoulders a little bit more. Um, from there, I went to a standing military press or just an overhead press. Um, I did five sets of six to eight reps. Then I moved on to the pec deck where I did four sets of eight to 12 reps, just focusing on keeping my arms just slightly bent and using my chest just to squeeze the weight together. And then I went and did some lateral raises seated, focusing on just using my shoulders to lift the weight and not my traps. That's important. And then I finished off with some um, just tricep push downs on the cables. Uh, I like to use a straight bar. I feel like it really can get a nice stretch on the muscle. Just left O'Reilly Auto Parts. Just got some a carb rebuild kit and some new ignition uh, points for this Mustang. I did replace the fuel pump and the fuel filter, and I thought I cleaned out the fuel bowls of the carburetor and a new condenser, but still not running. So I'm thinking it's probably just the carb is gummed up somewhere or the, um, 
or the points are going bad. So I don't really know exactly. I'm just kind of uh, uh, taking a look at it because it's getting fuel and everything. So I'm thinking maybe that's the problem. So um, yeah, it wasn't too much. It was like 35, 40 bucks for the parts. So, and uh, I think it'll take care of it.